Hey guys, Mr. Happy here and welcome to my guide for Tamtara Hard Mode, a new dungeon in patch 2.3. This dungeon requires a minimum item level of 70 to enter and you must get the quest Corpse Groom from Pio Reo at X12Y8 in Ulda, the Steps of Nald. If you're interested in the lore part of this dungeon, by the way, there are torn folios scattered inside for you to read, but I won't spoil those here. This dungeon has a lot of trash mobs that you'll need to clear, none of which are too difficult. Most of them are just standard diremites, gargoyles, and demon spawn. Even the bees from Demon Wall seem to have found a new home. You will run into a few packs where a single enemy is tethered to two or three others, making him invincible until you kill the tethered enemies. So kill a few trash enemies and some packs like that and you'll come to the first boss, Liavin. This boss is incredibly simple. Just have everyone stack behind her, accept the tank, and DPS her until she dies. The main mechanic of this fight is the adds that spawn, which explode and do party-wide damage, also increasing the damage the party takes every time it happens. They only do this explosion if a player ability kills them. This means make sure your Garudas are on obey, don't use AoE skills, no shadow flares, no wide volleys, nothing. To kill them safely, you have to make sure that Leavine hits them with one of her many AoE abilities. So if everyone just stands behind her and you heal through the onslaught of adds, which don't really hit that hard, they will die in a few seconds to her AoE. Just finish her off and move on. In the next part, you'll come to a bunch of side rooms with defiled coffins. Touching one spawns enemies that you'll need to kill in order to progress through the dungeon. The first one summons a single dantelion, which needs to have paralyzed three silenced or stunned if you see it casting. The second coffin has a dantelion and two phantom soldiers, and the third one spawns a dantelion and six phantom knights, which teleport around a lot. Kill these three sets of enemies to move on. There's some ghosts and Dullahan trash in between the coffins, but it's nothing you haven't dealt with before. There's also tons of torn folios and coffers in these rooms. The second boss is called Spare Body. He does your standard Dullahan abilities, on top of shooting an AoE circle that will deal damage over time if you stand in it, so just move him out whenever he does this. In the center of the room is Pio Reo, whom you must ensure does not die or it will cause a wipe. He can be healed and stone skinned if you want to keep him a little bit safer. Make sure the boss is turned away from him as well. Periodically, nameless spirits will spawn from one of the portals in the arena and begin moving towards the center. If they reach the center, they explode on Pio Reo and deal high damage to him. Just have someone run up and touch the spirits before they reach the center. You can have one person do it, two people do it, doesn't matter as long as they don't reach the center. Eventually, two nameless souls will spawn, which are just like the other ones, but will explode for a lot more damage. When both of them die, the boss gets a damage buff, but he should be almost dead by now, so just finish him off and move on. The trash up ahead is full of Hecties and Slimes, and they often place a healing debuff on the tank, which needs to be a Sunid or Leeched. After that, the last set of trash mobs will be a Pisco Demon and three Demon Spawn. There's also a bunch of orbs that will fly around and explode if you go near them, and they constantly respawn, so do your best to dodge them. Kill the three pawns first, and then go after the Pisco Demon. As the Pisco Demon loses HP, he'll spawn fly-blown failures, so kill these as they come out too. Finish everything up and you're at the final boss, Avir. When you engage Avir, his bride, Etta, will be in the center of the room in an AoE circle that deals damage to you if you stand in it. Very often, she will summon Gargoyles that do Lino AoEs and Votorigas that do Circle AoEs. The main mechanic of this fight are the adds that come out, called Groom to Be. You must kill them before they reach the center of the room or the letters in the arena will start lighting up. After all the adds are dead or absorbed, Avir will do an AoE that hits quite hard, even harder if any of the grooms make it to the center of the room. If five grooms make it to the center, it's an automatic wipe. Just heal through it, keep dodging all the AoEs and kill any grooms to be that come out and you'll win in no time. In total, this dungeon rewards 100 mythology and 45 soldiery before duty roulette or first time bonuses. Anyway guys, thank you for watching, be sure to like, favorite, subscribe, and share. Stay tuned for other things on my channel, check out some other videos, and until next time, take care.